Welcome to another studio tutorial. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the box layout. As you can see here, we have a basic web page. The idea of a box layout is that every element on this page is treated as a box. These boxes can either sit next to each other or stack on top of one another depending on how we style our layout. Boxes can also be nested inside of other boxes which are then called children of that parent box. Now, designing using the box layout is very different than you might be used to with other graphic design tools. It's not like a PowerPoint where you can drag and drop elements wherever you'd like and size them however you'd like. This kind of layout works well when you're designing for one size, but when you try to resize this design on smaller screen sizes, it just doesn't fit well and can be very unreadable. Think of the box layout more like a Word document, where as you add text and images, the content moves around to fit everything, flowing from left to right and then top to bottom. That's the default on the web, too. The box layout can seem very constraining, but it actually gives us a lot of flexibility in how we design our web pages to fit all kinds of devices. Using the box layout, we can design responsive web pages that changes layouts as our browser window resizes. Each box has positions, sizing, and spacing that works in harmony with one another to get an ideal experience for that size. I know this is somewhat of a vague explanation, but I'll explain how the box model works in practice with these future videos.